Can you give us a sense of when you think that ceasefire will start, sir? Well, I hope by the, the beginning of the weekend. I mean, the end of the weekend. At least my, my, my national security advisor tells me that we're close. We're close. It's not done yet. And my hope is by next Monday, we'll have a ceasefire. Salute and welcome back to Unknown Soldier Radio. Siri, what is gaslighting? According to Newport Institute, gaslighting is a form of psychological manipulation in which the abuser attempts to sow self-doubt and confusion in their victim's mind. Typically, gaslighters are seeking to gain power and control over the other person by distorting reality and forcing them to question their own judgment and intuition. There is absolutely no way in hell you can continue to arm and fund Israel, draw no red line in the sand, veto UN resolutions, reject the ICJ, cut United Nations funding, aka UNRWA, completely ignore international law, then say you're helping the dire humanitarian crisis you created. You can't make this shit up. Get to the chopper! The following clips are gaslight approved with the sole purpose and intent to ungaslight you so that you may make an informed decision and draw your own line in the sand as regards to this war between Israel and Palestine. Because there's a stark dark contrast between what's being told to the American people, what's being pushed down our throat and propagandized toward us, between what's actually being done. Fair use. Will those in favor of the draft resolution contained in document S slash 2024 slash 173, please raise their hand. Those against? Abstentions? The result of the voting is as follows. 13 votes in favor, one vote against, one abstention. The draft resolution has not been adopted owing to the negative vote of a permanent member of the council. Colleagues, over the past few weeks, we have made incredibly clear that the resolution before the council would not achieve the goal of a sustainable peace and may in fact run counter to it. Proceeding with a vote today was wishful and irresponsible. And so while we cannot support a resolution that would put sensitive negotiations in jeopardy, we look forward to engaging on a text that we believe will address so many of the concerns we all share. And given the immense scale of suffering in Gaza, there must be an immediate ceasefire. Yeah. For at least the next six weeks, which is what is currently on the table. Hamas claims it wants a ceasefire. Well, there is a deal on the table. And as we have said, Hamas needs to agree to that deal. Let's get a ceasefire. Let's reunite the hostages with their families. And let's provide immediate relief to the people of Gaza. We have breaking news. The Israeli Prime Minister is reportedly rejecting Hamas's ceasefire demands. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is vowing to fight until absolute victory. Hamas did offer a ceasefire in order to do a prisoner exchange for hostages. Netanyahu said this war could wage on for months, not years. He rejected the ceasefire after meeting with U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken. Salute! Get to the From dog tags 